All right, let's talk about Dijoxin in this visual mnemonic with the DJ that's rocking. DJ that's rocking for Dijoxin. So Dijoxin is a cardiac glycoside that inhibits the sodium potassium ATPase, which leads to an increase in intracellular calcium. More calcium, stronger heart contractions. This is why Dijoxin has been used to treat heart failure and to control the ventricular rate in atrial fibrillation. But watch out for Voxma. I named this creature Voxma just to help me remember six important interactions. Verapamil amiodarone, quinidine spironolactone, macrolides, and azoles. These guys either reduce renal clearance of digoxin or displace digoxin from tissue binding sites, and thus they can cause digoxin levels to spike. And this leads to the digoxin toxicity that we know of. Nausea and vomiting, confusion, fatigue, and the famous yellow or blurry vision a term called xanthopsia, and too much long-term digoxin can lead to dangerous arrhythmias, especially in hypokalemia, in which case we need to stop the drug, correct the potassium, and in some cases, use digoxin-specific antibody fragments. All right, take care.